Hi there, my name is Vic Vey. I'm an ENT surgeon. What I want to do today is show you what a normal ear looks like. I've got my little device with a camera attached to it and uh, there's a video that's going to come up somewhere so I'll move over to one side so I can put it around about here somewhere. I'm going to put it into my ear so you can see what's going on. So you can see a little bit of wax on the outside. That's all entirely normal. And you can see that looks a bit red there. Actually, that's all right. And you can see up here is my eardrum. The eardrum is just a membrane separating the outside world from a cavity behind the eardrum that we call the middle ear. There are actually two parts of the eardrum. The main bit down here, and then there's a much smaller bit called the attic, which is up here. This attic area is where cholesteatoma form. Cholesteatoma is a relatively common mass that forms in this area, which causes recurrent infections, hearing loss, and sometimes balance problems, amongst other things. I'm going to talk about cholesteatoma in another video. That line down the middle of the eardrum is where one of the bones of hearing, known as the malleus, is attached. So when the eardrum moves, it also moves the malleus bone, which in turn moves two other bones in your ear to help you hear. One of my jobs as a surgeon is to repair or reconstruct these bones to restore hearing. Just under here you'll see the nerve of taste that goes to the right side of my tongue, and that bright white area is just light reflecting off my eardrum. That dark area you can see behind the eardrum is where the eustachian tube opens up. That tube runs from behind the eardrum to the back of the nose. It's how you pop your ears when you're in an aeroplane. And I'll just take this out. I'll just show you the other ear as well. Oh, I'm very proud of my eardrum. It looks completely normal. If you look closely, you'll see that the skin of the eardrum is actually the same as the skin of the ear canal. It's very important to appreciate this as it helps you understand what a cholesteatoma is and how to treat eardrum perforations and how to treat infections of this area. The surface of the eardrum actually grows out and becomes the skin of the ear canal. So these migrating cells create a transport system which slowly transfers wax and debris out of your ear. Some of you will now see that this video is the start of a series of other videos I'm planning to release after this one. I hope you find that interesting in some way. What I'll do in my next video is show you what it looks like in the back of my nose and the back of my throat. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.